So you want to get a watch. Don't do it. First, you get a cheap quartz watch because you're not sure if you even like wearing a watch at all. But then you quickly realize you need an automatic watch and you need a dive watch or three. What else are you going to wear those two times a year that you go swimming? But what are you going to wear to special events? Naturally, you'll pick up a dress watch that you'll try to wear on every single type of casual watch strap since Christian from Theo and Harris told you that dress watches can be casual. But you don't wear cool grandpa sweaters, so it doesn't work for you. Then you binge hours of watch content and get sucked into buying that one hyped watch. It costs a bit more than you wanted to spend, but it must be good, right? You get it, wear it, and love it for the first two weeks. But soon, you realize you bought into the hype train rather than a watch you actually wanted, and it just sits in the darkest corner of your watch box. Till eventually, you learn your lesson and buy a watch for yourself. It's not super hyped, maybe not even that popular, but somehow still checks off all of your boxes. It's exactly what you wanted, and you'll never need another watch again until next month when that new watch comes out. Trust me when I say 